No, John here. Um, just heading off to Kerry Kerry from the Walkwood. Coming into Orkney now. Um, <coughs> pulled into Odahu and uh, had some lunch. Feeling pretty good. All the way. Driving. Sort of there. From South Auckland. Go down and uh, go through uh, over the bridge here. It's got a bit cloudy. Not too good looking. by Scott, Scotties, two Scotties. It was Gordon Brown and the Queen that created the EU Parliament and all that racket. <coughs> and it was Trump and the Queen again, the two Scotties, again, that created this monarch for America, a second-hand monarch. It's not going to last long. It's not going to last long, I'll tell you. The fate is over. The Bitcoin is hidden in fake, fiat money. The Rothschilds are at it again, and they're going to get busted. Putin is going to bust them. That's what he's going to do. He's going to bust them, and the Chinese are going to bust them as well. It's crook, too much crook. No honesty. They're making money off, off people, and they bleed people to death. That's it. No more. No more. Andy, divine is with me on uh, live um, streaming video that goes up to four hours at a time. So I'm just doing one of my own live uh, video here. Uh, Cook Street is up through here. We're going after that property and bottom point, the motel. We're going after that too. Those people, I, I warned them, I'm going to get the British titles and come and take them. And Donald Trump is not going to put his titles of America over a British title here. <coughs> he thinks he's got rid of the British monarch. No, he's only got rid of the Queen's monarch, not the King's monarch. She's gone and stolen all the King's assets, all the King's royal revenue, all the King's trust. And we're going to get it back off her. Even bitch. Scott. The Scots have been doing all the fraud. It's been the Scots. Nobody else. Just the Scots. They have made it bad for Britain. Now they're there. Now you can see who it, who's been behind the racket. The Scottish. The Freemason Scottish. And that's the end of it for them. They've done all the damage. They've ruined this world. They're the ones that are the Cabal and the um, uh, Deep Dark State is run by the Scotties. And I think people have had enough of that. They've had enough of killings, fracking the skies, fracking the rocks, tidal waves, all those man made um, disasters have been caused by these Scottish. I can put it straight to them. I'm accusing them of all that on humanity, and here they are thinking they're going to give it all back to humanity, like hell. 
not stolen property. Not stolen property. We're treating it as theft, fraud, in a grand jury fraud trial. We're putting together. I'm, I'm, I'm in the native law um, with all the documents that created all their titles and that's what they did as running the trust. We're going to sack the Queen off the trust and we're going to go after the trust and whatever it takes. Contract, we'll put the contract out for the recovery of all that debt that the British military and every other military in 250 countries added up with that flag. We're going to use that flag to its full potential against the Queen and Donald Trump and the American. Any American that's usurping our flag, contract, constitution and legal authority will get developed and, if necessary, the firing pin from all the accumulated trade and partner, partner with this flag. We're going back to square one. The original British titles that created all the wealth in the first place with the title. The deeds, the deed title. The Queen was no good. Scotland and your first Prime Minister is no good. All of them. Gordon Brown and the woman, what's her name? She's just as bad. Trying to get them into the EU, trying to get around the corner. So let's walk around for you. There's Takapuna over there. In the distance, there's Greenfield up that way. And we're heading to Whangarei uh, and up to Territory, right up north in the Bay of Islands. So that's where we are. Um, Amy. Divine, doing a grand job, grand job, looking after the poor people, helping out, yes you can, for people on the street, and all those people who have lost their families, their house, all their possessions, birth certificates, all that fraud stuff, these Scotties are the ones that are doing it. They ripped the whole of Britain apart, the Scotty, the, the Queen Scotty, and now Trump Scotty. And Gordon Brown Scotty did sign behind closed doors for their own financial investment interest and didn't think about us, the beneficiaries of the trust. So they're going to get it. And that's all I want to say. We're coming after you with everything that flag has inside it. You're not going to use it to drop. You're not to touch that flag or any of our documents or birth certificates or anything from now on. It's a declaration of war flag that's on you from Britain and Brits. I'm saying that because that's the way Maui is. The Maui Crown and the King William IV Trust is the creditor, bank creditor, and the Maui Bauhaus Bank. And the Maui Bauhaus Group Limited Company, corporate company, creditor. That's the shareholding company of all those people who are joining to <coughs> make a case, a one case in Dahi Castle with HRH, Jim Foley. I'm saying this out loud because that's what I'd love you to do. Uh, the original uh, bloodline, King Ernest Augustus, the first, the fifth, the fifth, there's no stake in this contract. The contract is between my own father-in-law, uh, uh, ancestor, Tera Waikato, Whalehirehire Manukau, and also Riflefa Manukau, contract with King George IV. That's the one with that flag. And King William IV with Riflefa Manukau. That's it. That's it. That's our contract. Okay, so uh, I want to say uh, to those people in Britain, <coughs> and those ones who have lost a lot, that's your trust we're going after. And to take it off the Queen and lock them up. We've got to lock all those corporate companies up because they've got away with it. They've, they've created fictitious, ambiguous, fake companies 
and defrauded the laws of Britain, UK, and the people of UK, Britain, and us, the Paramount Chiefs, and our Pacific Island Native Chiefs and people. Okay, so <clears throat> I just want to say as much as I can. Well, I've got film left to use up while the camera's got a new battery in it. I'll tell you as much as I can while I'm driving. I've got a bit of things out. These are things I'm saying, live streaming on uh, YouTube. That uh, we're in a serious situation. The war has been caused by Donald Trump and the Queen. They caused all these wars with our flag, and we're to take it off them and put it on them. We're going to bankrupt them, liquidate all their properties, all the corporates in the world, even in New Zealand. We're going to strip them because they've had it good right up to now. 195 years they've had all this power and sucking all the families dry and making them split. We're going to, it's a time for rebuilding families together again. Well, what's been wrecked, what the Queen has wrecked, profusely wrecked, abhorrent people in Scotland, operating in England and in America. America is the asshole of the world and Israel. Those are the terrorists. Those are the terrorists of the world. Better change names. Get out of the past name. I'm doing a speed limit or something. And I like to just take my time as much as I can. Uh, so to um, John Patterson and Gordon Brown, good on you, mate. But it's our time. It's our day. We have to do this. We have to do this. And correct the injustices and put them right. You see my teeth missing? All that amalgam, all these dirty salts of the bitches in their chemicals in the water. All of that, drilling the teeth when they didn't need to drill them. And I'm, I'm sure that the people who have been taking the kidneys out of the teeth, there was nothing wrong with them. They just yipped it out as mongrel, uh, Satanists. People. They no heart, they're just business. So we're going to take that business away from them. It's our, our, our call, the King's call. We still have a King's authority and legal title, legal and legitimate title. We have a legitimate King, um, HRH Jeffrey Foley, magistrate, and he's also a constable to arrest everything with a writ warrant. I'll put that together myself. and. Put it under King William III's laws, 1694 Bank of England Creditors Act, and to be uh, and to recover <coughs> and seize all the properties of the corporate thugs and pirates. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. I'm just saying, without a shot being fired, it's all on paper. It's all contracts that I'm doing, and. We're going to do it. We're going to do it to settle account, balance the books, and to audit the ancient treasury. And you'll find there's nothing in there. But I want to say this to the Queen. You're a bitch. You're going to hang. If the people say you hang, you hang. You hang. And Donald Trump, you hang too. Because you came into England on their soil land and did that. There's a fourth party in the conflict. You've got contracts too. You've got contracts and you're using all that money, that Swiss low money, and that gold that you bombed up to 9-11 with Israel. You did it. I'm accusing all of you of it. Netanyahu, you did it. And Tony Blair, all those mongrels in Westminster did it. All those families of Rothschilds, you did it. We're going to get our king stuff back. We're going to get our king's control back off you <coughs> because we're the ones that originated from and created all those laws that you have broken and you have illegally operated on for your own self-interest. So, 
Donald Trump. I'm making this statement right in front of the world. Today, the 20th of October, 2018, Saturday, in Auckland, New Zealand, that you are now under arrest for treason, treachery, terrorism. You and the Queen. The Queen too, and all your corporate agents of the Crown, of your Crown. We have our Crown, the Maui Crown and the King, King William the Third, King William the Fourth, King George the Fourth, King George the Fifth, King Ernest Augustus the First, and King George the Third. He's on our crown, he's on our flag, he's on that thing, but uh, that's not yours, we take it off. We're going to rip it off you, because it doesn't belong to you. Your breakaway, your, your gone and alienated, everything off Britain, and us here in New Zealand, and run off with it. You were there for us. You're supposed to be there for us, but you were there for you. And we're going to take everything off you. Going to seize it off you and hang you if they want to hunt. The people of Britain will have that say. Tick the like box if you want that. Tick the like box if you want her locked up. Tick the like box if you want her in jail to suffer or put her on a dock or the bank. In England, bring her back to England or she's in England. Grab her before she goes. <clears throat> She's got the King and Queen of Netherlands there <clears throat> at the moment. And that's another crooked deal with our trust. All that money that's gone out of New Zealand and around the world that's gone into the Queen Victoria Trust. And you are signing with the King and Queen of Netherlands where all our money is gone from our trust. That's our money. That's our goal. That's all our resources that you've been there for our trust as a head. We're going to call you to account for your head and all the, your royal family for their heads too. For all the treacherous things you have done to all those kids, those children, you suck in their blood, you dirty bastards. You're going to have to pay for that with your life if they say so. The people say so. That's it. We're going to suck your blood with a syringe. That's what I say. Just tick the light box if you want that. Just a messenger boy, and I'm the land commissioner of the land, the land underneath you in America. <coughs> We're going to put a seizure warrant right over you, a writ warrant from Britain, the new Britain. Okay, the new and the old Britain, the original Britain. You take your monarch with you and bury it in hell, Queen. You and Trump burn in hell with your monarch. It's worth nothing. It is worth nothing. You. Both Scot Scotland, it's shame on you for being Scottish. Shame on you. Scotland, shame on you. My managers come from Scotland, little Gordon. I feel for them with you, lot of bastards, crouching around with everybody's money stolen. All that stuff you've got is stolen. We're treating it as stolen property, Donald Trump, and you're not going to spend it in Bitcoin. You're not going to hide your fraud again from the U.S. money that was fake. And here you are again with a Bitcoin to spin that around as well. No, we're going to take it off you. We're going to take that Bitcoin off you and no more of that shit. Your U.S. dollar is bullshit pyramid, capstone, was nothing. Look, it's gone. It was just assumptions and an illusion, you bastards. That's what I say, you bastards on this video for doing that and faking it. Any of us would do it fakes, lock them up or hang them. That's all you're worth, drunk. You've got all the money and you're shooting everybody up with our flag. This flag's going to turn on you. It's going to turn on you now, if the people say so. I'm just saying that because it'll only be real if they want to do that to you. I'm just making that statement to you and the Queen that you are barbarous people. 
and you need to be shot right through the middle of the heat with all that you've done against the people of the world. You have done that to us, the chiefs here in New Zealand, and you have put us in a position to use that flag as a declaration of war, a state of emergency on America and where the Queen goes and all the corporate countries as well. We're going to put the power note on you and to recover all the gold with our power note and John Patterson's family, the power note family, that the Rothschilds screwed that power note and made that funny money, US dollar <coughs> monopoly money that was worth fuck all and just spun it around and around and around and took everybody's money off them and they hardly you're going to pay for that for Rothschild, your family. No more. No more. There'll be a down note contract on your head from the people. I'm saying that if they pass the that, that's what it'll be. They're coming after blood anywhere in the world. For any of you who have done that, we prove it. We've proven that you have broken all the rules of Britain and the rules of Moai, Crown and New Zealand natives and the natives of the Pacific Islands. We have broken all our native laws of Africa, India, and <coughs> other countries that have been affected by your way of doing things illegally. Okay, that's all I need to say. I'm going to get on the way and get cracking. So that's our day. Silver Gale's coming up here. I come up here with Kevin Rouse, he lived up here. Uh, somebody up here. Ah, uh, somebody up here. Ah, uh, watch it though. Watch it. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Watch the road, man. I'm surprised. Firmly on the road. I've had a good seat. Had a good breakfast. I took a video of us um, yeah, having breakfast. Not us. Me. <coughs> Toby's Fisheries, you know to who. So, um, I'll get off the motorway, or do what? I'll, I'll miss the, I'll miss the tolls. It doesn't take long to go around the tolls. And, um, yeah, I won't go through the tunnel. But that's all I want to say to you, Tom. And to the Queen, those people in Britain are very angry. The people in New Zealand will be very angry with you, Queen and Trump. Two Scot Scottish. Gordon Brown was Scottish. That's another Scotty and, and, uh, and the Queen. Those two Scotties made the EU Parliament. They, they created it behind closed doors. They never got the consent of the people. And here they did again. They never got the consent of the people of Britain. And t Donald Trump came in. That's That's treason, or that's war against the country, against the interests of the country and its people, the common law people of that country. You went right past them, Donald Trump, so they're going to use every law, the King's law, higher than every other law, to go after you and seize the whole of America, seize all the other countries that are in the realms of the Queen. We're going to seize the whole of that, and that's what I say. I say on behalf of all the native chiefs in the world that have been screwed by you two bastards. Okay? You two bastards. What's this place? No water. No, we get off at the next one. I'll get off at the next one. Uh, Oriwa. Oriwa. So we die. Yeah. So we die. Oriwa. Oriwa. I'll get off the next one. So, once again, for all those people who are watching around the world, I'm serious. I'm serious what I say in accusing Trump and the Queen of violating human rights in the countries that have robbed, broken, screwed to bits, and split all the families up and then took the kids away. That's evil. That evil Satan is in those people. They're white, predominantly white skin, 
and shame on every other white person in this planet. Those white ones are the ones you need to hang. The other white ones, they have screwed as well. They want them hung. If they want them hung, that, that'll be what it'll be for doing that. It's 195 years of their life and their ancestors taken, stolen, <coughs> and blown up to bits. All those people that blown up to bits for their country and its resources, its gold and everything they're hard work for, they've stolen and we're going to take it back off them. We're going to take it back off them and seize it off them. Okay, so this is Oliva. And I used to come here with my children. The two lots of children, the first lot and the second lot. <coughs> it's a nice place. We come here to the hot springs in the Waiwera and stay in uh, Oliva. Beautiful place. Well, it was different now. It's, it's different now. That's what it looks like after 195 years when the first British came here. The British teamed up with four countries to make them powerful. To make them most powerful. And now they've got 20 countries to make their uh, EU Parliament out of thin air. The Queen did that. The Queen is answerable to all the what the EU Parliament doing. If it hasn't got a country of its own, it's just like spinning in media. It's spinning in media collecting money for this elite gangsters. The elite gangsters of these deep dark state. There's a, there's a government of themselves. A government of themselves ruling everybody from their perch high up. Well, it's time to smash the perch down with the king's flag. The king's flag is what they've been using all the time. The king's emperor's gold and his riches and his prized possessions. We're going to take them prized possessions back off them. So this is Oriwa, beautiful Oriwa in Auckland. Well, let's see how much one of those places costs. About a million bucks each. Yeah, average of a million for one house. Nothing, nothing less than 500,000 here, you know, nothing less than 500,000 dollars here. You know, in the old days, in 1961, 1961 or 1967, the decimal currency came out and our pound note was on a par with England for some time. Oil. And uh, then they devalued it to a third of its value in a dollar. The Rothschilds did that. Well, we got, we're going to value our, our pound note is valued right up to get it all back. And that's why it's so high. That's why that pound note is so high at 970 million trillion trillion pound note that I have put together to seize all that money. It's because of that as well, of them devaluing our, 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 our pound note. Uh, the the chief's power note, and we lost we lost two thirds the value of our properties, our, our land. So we're going to get all that back. I'll show you all those uh, land title books I've got of the uh, war and the splitting up, splitting up of the land blocks. For every other native country in the world, they use the blueprint here, and that belongs to us. That belongs to the the, the chiefs. <clears throat> and now the trustees. We'll, we'll make ourselves trustees and sack the Queen and I'll go as trustee, head trustee, head trustee. So people, that's my new position. Head trustee of our trust. You can trust me because I'm a pinchar, but I know how to spend a dollar and get a lot out of a dollar. There's no difference to spending a million. I'll get a lot out of a million. And the power project, the Tidal Turbine Power Project for 500 megawatts of a turbine, a single turbine in China, <coughs> in China, <coughs> cost me 25 million. That's all. And it turns over 37 million. It's already making a profit just on one turbine blade with 500 megawatts from one single blade. Well, that single shaft running that the, the 
the in the middle running it can run a 5,000 megawatts of power on the same turbine. Yep, that's what's going to happen. So there, out of that, that's about 4.5 4, 4 billion turnover on the same size turbine. Okay? <coughs> that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put that back for the shareholders. And oh, look at that. That's a nice seal Mr. the beach, there down there, look. Right? Uriwa, there. Beautiful white beaches. I'll show you up there. I'll show you up there. I'll put it over there, mate. I'll put it over there. Yeah, there, there. Oh, it's turned out to be a nice thing. There we go. See up there? See up there? Don't come along to Hatfield Beach. You know what Hatfield means? How to weather. Yeah, see the trickery in the words? It's in the words, the trickery of surnames. How to weather. And there's a bullshit whakapapa here that Nati Vatua, all those tribes put together, the iwi, screwed the real natives, the original natives, they screwed them off their land. Well, we're going to screw them off the land with the British title, back in the deeds. We're going to go back to the deeds start all over again but I'm going to come from a different angle. I'm, come, I'm going to come from the sea of Admiralty. I'm going into the sea and start from there. Okay? What they did was they came from the sea, from Britain, landed on the, sh the, the beach and away they went with their magistrate court. Okay? That's what they did at Waitangi. They put that magistrate court there and put their <coughs> chief they wanted to sign with in there and a representative, uh, a surrogate king, a surrogate king or a surrogate queen. In this case, they had a surrogate queen, Victoria, and a surrogate that's run by the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds made their family to Queen Victoria. And all evil, all evil came out of it. It's still oozing, for the last time, it's oozing its poison for the last time. All those people have been living high, high and mighty, these common law people are coming after you with contracts and paid to do it. To come and get their property back. They're going to get their property back. Bye bye all your houses and all your flash cars. They're going to pick them up. They have a right to pick them up. And the military is going to pay the military with a pound note. The Moai pound note. And a king with them four pound note. And the gold coins are hidden away somewhere. I'm going to go find them, whistleblowers, they know where it is, I know where some of it is. <coughs> There's 400 million metric tons of gold in Philippines. I'm in overdraft here. So, beautiful country, see? It just shows you that the climate here allows things to grow green. It's got a, a bit of a chill in the air. It's not too bad. It's about 18, 20 degrees now. With the hot pools over here. Uh, way wetter. That's why me and the kids come have a hot, hot swim and a hot, hot spa. And a hot um, sauna. My family. Down here. And then, well, we've still got some more film left. So I'll just have a, some more talk. I'm just generally going over things on my mind. There's a lot of things I've got to think about. <clears throat> but when I'm asked the questions about a certain subject with Andy, we stick to the subject. But I'm just crossing across a lot of things that I'm saying publicly on these videos. There's always something in it that's to be thinking about. Who is the culprit, who is the thug, who is the pirate, who is the fraudster. You can put the labels right on the Queen and Trump. Birds of a feather flock together. Right? Everywhere you look who's, who's, who are, they are accessories to what fraud, you can, you can see them. You can see them. <coughs> okay. Right there.
So, um, I'll just keep talking until this video runs out. Um, with anything that the Queen does from now on, it's in America. She has made a public statement that she no longer has her sovereignty in Britain. She's taken her sovereignty out of Britain to somewhere else. And that somewhere else is America. It can't be in the, the Netherlands. It might be, but she might be transferring it up there, closer to Germany, so that they can keep the power for themselves. But that's where our flag is. Our eight-point star flag was given to my paramount chiefs, not to Maori, to my paramount chiefs. And she can't mirror herself around us. And all her bullshit stories about Egypt is just nothing. And all that the, the, the Pope has done, he's gone and fizzled out in the thin air, just like her. Fizzled into thin air as if there was nothing there. What's the use of having a queen when there's a king? The queen stuffed it all up. The king did all the work and the queen stuffed it all up for herself. It's self-interest greed and everything that goes with it. She thinks she can just take what she wants, but other people think otherwise. Uh, Andy, I'm just uh, thinking all the way home. And when I get back, I've got to tidy my house, mow my lawns, and get it nice for the next one on Monday. I'm going to take my place. And here we go, roadblock again. Look right down there. This is up the on ramp. That's the tunnel's got the right of way. And we have to wait to get onto the main traffic stream. Uh, it was like this when I came up. Ah. Just a call going onto the motorway. So I can talk while there. I'll just turn this off and let it roll down the hill. <coughs> you get hot. Oh, I should open the window. Oh, see, that fella had enough. He's going back. He's not going to wait around. He's going to go through the tunnel. I should have just came through the tunnel. I went around the tunnel <coughs> because I got a recheck on my car for warrant, but um, I went to the garage. My garage, and they gave me a warrant for the trailer. And uh, I've got a recheck on my. Uh, my car at that garage in Odehu. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do a bit of rolling on the chassis of my friend's place. Kevin's got a voice there, he's going to lift it right up in the air. So, I'm lucky in a way that I've got that. Oh man, this is the traffic's at a stop down there. That's why I turn my engine off. It'll get hot just by the way. So, what I'll do is I'll put this camera somewhere in. And just carry on talking until it finishes or I'll turn it off. No, I'll just leave it all up. Ooh, it's very hard to stop it. Yeah, my foot really stamped on the brakes because I've got the engine switched off. I want to put the camera somewhere where I can talk to you when I throw my foot hard on the brake. Oh, there, the handbrake. I'll just use the handbrake. Yeah, so, people, we're at a, a crucial time in our life, in our time, at our age, uh, that there's something bad going on at the present time with the Trump and the Rothschild banks and the banks, and the bitcoins, and this new funny money going around the bitcoin, but the bitcoins are right, I'm going to use it till we take it off them. We're going to seize everything off, off them with our flag. Uh, Andy, we'll, we'll, we'll make that flag the most powerful flag again, and take the power off them, and seize all their property. That's what it does. It makes a war on them, and if we say to China, go get them, go get our things back, they'll go and get it and Russia, and, and China, and Russia, and India. They'll go and get it with an with order from us and the court. 
But that's what we're going to do, Andy. Tell all those British people, you want your stuff back? We're going to contract those other people. It's a pound note. We'll make the pound note work and it'll pay them. It'll pay all the militaries in all those countries the same amount, 25 billion, to go and look for all that gold. Okay, that's a municipal amount of money to recover something that's worth trillions. So it's worth having that uh, for a 10 year stint in, in amounts spread out, in amounts spread out 2 billion a year to fund every military in the country with our shareholders from all those countries. Those people who are joining us for a share, please buy a share because the British military empire is still there. And we, we still have control over all the assets of the Queen. One sixth of the globe and that, all that is, is still in our trust, the Queen Victoria Trust and King William for Moai Crown Trust. Okay? The Queen put the Moai there for that crown. Okay, that's why she put the, Mount, the Moai there in, uh, as a prominent place in uh, Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in London. That, that was picked up from East Island in 1868. From that period of time onwards, it became commercial. It became a commercial seal of the Spirit of God. <coughs> they didn't go on the Bible. They didn't go on the Bible. They went on the Spirit of Moai. That's why they got him, because they found out he was Spirit. He was the Spirit of the Earth. Okay, they stole everything, they stole the pyramids, and now they've got rid of it on their dollar. The US have got rid of the pyramid, the capstone on the top, on their matrix. They made all the money out of it, now they ditched it. And they're going for something higher up in the sky where the fracking is, the fracking god. you got the fracking god, now that breaks the earth and causes tidal waves on all electronic from Israel. Israel is not the 12 tribes of Israel, it's the 12 tribes of hell. It's the 12 tribes of hell. That's what that is. And the royal families, the, the stuff, it's not. They're just corporate. They got, they got that country and robbing other countries by stealth corporate of the king's admiral, magistrate court. Okay? We're going to take it all back from our original magistrate court in La Mm-hmm. It's, it's a wreck, but that's where the power is. That's where the mana is, and the moa is the other mana. You've got Jeff Foley's title. I'm taking the trust as the first party. The second party is the live person, or the live human, is Matt Taylor. I'll pick one. He's a king, Arthur. He's a king. He knows how kings work. So I'll pick him and his family, and me and my family, as the trustees, the two trustees, and we just need to pick two more. I'm not going to pick a Maori, no. I'm going to pick two more trustees <coughs> to cover. That'll be Harold Link, someone from Thailand, mm -hmm. and somebody else. It'll be Harold Link and someone else. You see, so that's three. I just need one more. Not from Scotland. Hell no. Not from Scotland. <coughs> There'll be someone that's peaceful. Scotland is too vile and abhorrent and vicious. <coughs> snake, that's what Trump said. The vicious snake took a bite. <coughs> Alright, took a bite. And it was a bite of death. Him playing the snake, the queen the snake. Him got bitten by the snake. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, he's, he's saying his own story. Yeah, about the snake biting the one that took him in, took him, took him into the house. He got bitten by the snake. You know, the snake is that bitch queen, and he got he got bitten by the by, by the snake. So they're two poisonous snakes. One snake bit the other, and thought he'd kill it, but they both lived. The two snakes lived, and they're going to be eaten up by a dragon, a white dragon from Wales, from Pembrokeshire. They're going to eat those two snakes up. Hmm? No, no, fry them in us. Saucepan, <coughs> uh, a Teflon saucepan, mm. so they'll die, die, two die. Look at this man, this, 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 this traffic. It's cool. I've turned the engine off. I had to use handbrake because otherwise I'll smash in the back of that car. Yeah, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to 
don't have coffee somewhere. I, I, I bought some coffee and tea, uh, uh, coffee and sugar and milk, so I can have a coffee any time, a cold one. And uh, yeah, I'll have my coffee on, on the road. Open some windows. It's hot, really hot now. It's from the back door. Nice window. It's amazing. Yeah, so I'm glad that I'm getting some of the story across. But um, for those people in the islands that are watching, um, you're affected as well, but um, the, the Queen's been looking after you. Not the King, the Queen. You've got your own King in Tonga, and you've got, you've got your own King in Thailand, and um, um, the Rorotonga and the Cook Islands, they've got their own Arikis, uh, but no one's got a Paramount Chief only here. And I'm, I'm, I'm be the only one talking for the Paramount Chiefs, because they have no documents. No, no Maori has documents with Paramount Chiefs. No, not really. Not right back with that flag. They have not got a story for the flag for Paramount Chiefs. They only got a flag. They only got a story of assumptions. They cannot plug that flag to themselves and say the right story. Nah, -uh. I'm telling the story. I'm telling the story. If you listen to a Maori, it'll be here, there, and everywhere. It'll come out of the ground or some out of the sky or out of the sea. They won't tell you anything fake because the ancestors told them porkies. They call them porkies. And so they've lived as porkies. Uh, so I feel sorry for them, by the way. But, you know, time's moving on. Everybody's had enough of that. It's the same old video playing backwards and backwards and backwards and backwards all the time on a marae. That's, that's all they do. And the government just sends them a little bit of money and away they go again. And they're just enough to keep them going and not enough to live on. And so I'm saying to people that we have the power in numbers. That's why we have that share system set up in the corporate side. You have to be on the corporate side to tackle a corporate and fraud him and, and kill him dead. Right? We're going to kill the beast that has been killing our children and our generations. They've got rid of a lot of generations of kids by killing those children and, and ripping their guts out and drinking their blood and all these bad things. They didn't want them to live and to make more generations. They killed them because they know the older people are having less children, they're vaccinating them and killing them at the same time. Dirty bastards. All those vaccines, all those poisons, they stop you having babies and all that, and stop you having a quality of life and abortions, all those things, and they pull the baby up while it's still alive. Dirty mongrels. Those Scottish and their documents, we're going to destroy them, because our documents are in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. We're going to go there because it belongs to us. All those documents belong to us. And that there better be some good Scottish people in there to go and kick those other ones and hang the bastards. Hang the bastards. Hang all those bastards. That's what I say. I don't mind swearing because it means something. And they have broken all the people's hearts. The, the Queen is not the Queen that people thought she was. She's not the Queen of what she said she was going to be for God and for country both for the Queen and for her royal family and nobody else. Okay, and this marriage just sucked in. If you think you're doing this for the Maori people and me, Queen, you've got another thing coming. Because if you think you take your sovereignty to America and think you're going to run the whole world with these Maori here, you've got another thing coming. They're going to get the bill. They're going to be everything stripped off them very soon. As soon as we get this act passed in, in Westminster and kick those other ones out, that'll be the end of them and that'll be the beginning of a new end of all the thuggery going on. Stop the fracking, stop all the vaccines, stop and chuck all the medication away and go back to natural. <coughs> and <coughs> all those thugs in there sack the bastards. They're going to go in prison. All of you are going to go in prison and all the prisoners come out. You're going to go in prison. All of you people running all these scams in the hospital and in the drug farm, 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 pharmaceuticals, okay? And Big Pharma, and uh, Monsanto, all those, change their name again, Monsanto, change their name again, because it's so bad. And they just keep changing their names and re-registering the company. And that's how they do it on a corporate system. They get away with it being corporate. Well, we are corporate. We're the ones that created the corporate. You know, we, corporate we created the corporate here in New Zealand with the native paramount trees, not these bloody Maoris. You can forget about them because they're going to get the bill from me. Okay, I'll teach them a lesson or two for keeping me off the MRI. If not, not their land. Take their land underneath them. 
you can keep the piece of wood. But there's a my carving you can start hanging my right. That native court belongs to the British. Okay? They only borrowing it. They only borrowing it. It's only a occupation title. And it could be terminated. It is going to be terminated. You're all going to be terminated and liquidated. It's going to be confiscated, <coughs> consolidated, and liquidated. There, three things. <coughs> Confiscated, consolidated, and liquidated. CCL. Here's, here's, a, here's a big long, you know, I should have gone through the tunnel, man. I thought this was going to be a straight run. How come this is so... Yeah, I turned the engine off. The engine would have overheated. All those engines are idling, and they, they end up blowing the radiator. He's got lights here, that's why. The lights. There's the light operating down there. Well, um, today's uh, Saturday, the 20th of October 2018. My last day tomorrow, and uh, I've got a clean place up today, Saturday, and then tomorrow, Sunday, I'll be having my last day in Kerry Kerry. I love the place, but it's, um, I I've got I've got to move on. I've got to move on. I was going to do uh, uh, good things up there, but the Ngāpūhi people uh, um, are lost, are lost really in their own thing. The Queen has screwed them, and now it's too late, I'm gone. You know, Morris Baker, my friend Morris Baker, let me down a bit. Uh, he was very helpful to me. He saved me, actually, from Waitangi and took me to his place <coughs> and uh, put me up. I did a bit of work for him to make up for, for things, but it was hard. It was hard not being yourself and being in somebody's place and uh, trying to fight for his land back and I'm doing so much for him and others to do their land. I know what to do but they haven't got all the information. They have not got all the information and the titles that he, he's got are British titles. They've got his ancestor's name on it but he hasn't transferred it. Their family doesn't know what to do. I've been trying to tell them what to do but they've failed to get all the information out here. And they have, they've, we've got to have the original document, the names on it and transfer it. The Maryland Court just won't transfer it just like that. It's going to go back to the British side. And I'm going to do them one cell sweep. I can't do individual ones straight off. I'm going to do the whole lot right through the world. That's a world flag. I'm going to do them spot the whole 250 countries at the same time. <coughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it all one. Well, it's supposed to be. This country is supposed to be leading the world. Well, it didn't. The Queen took it and led her own thing and use these marriage as stupid bastards didn't know any better. They didn't know anything better than their nose in front of them and the piece of land that they've got sitting on. And that's all they know. Just a piece they're sitting on. And in some way, it's not their land. It's not their land. It's their land in, in, in native, but the native is so mixed up that one family is going above the other one when the family that was there originally has no say because this Iwi now has given the power to these stupid other ones that don't come from there. It's the same with my land box down the east coast. I'm going to go straight with the British guy's title and get my land back. My ancestors there, they put a bloody motel right on top of the gravesite of my ancestor. I'm going to get it back and boot them off. I told them, I warned them, and the real estate company, that will, Ray Watts, they're going to get a bill. All those real estate companies are going to get a bill, and I'm going to bankrupt Bailey's and Watts. Real, real estate. I'm going to bankrupt them. Watch me bankrupt them. Liquidate all their assets. They're going to pay for what they did to me. They're going to be, pay for what they did to my ancestors and our uh, chiefs of the past. Not the Maori ones. The chiefs I said. Not the ones they said. The chiefs I said that did the conflict.